So I'm here with Cynthia and we did this amazing thing today. As you can see, I look really different. We finally did it, guys. Finally got her to come and get it done. And I was a little scared. I, I know, I know. It's intimidating at first, but it's a lot. But I love it. I, I just want to keep touching it and like <laughs> go like this. It's awesome. And like give stink face of black. With the chewing the gum? Yeah, with the chewing the gum. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. So tell me. Number one, I appreciate you doing this for me. It's a huge, huge deal. I've never had a week before, so I'm like, inside I'm legit doing cartwheels and jumps <laughs> and flips and stuff. <laughs> like legit. So tell me why you decided to do this for me, where we got this hair and what the mm -hmm. whole process was. So when I thought about you, I know that your hair is really short, you know, and I um, I didn't want you to have to commit to a weave, you know, and have to be, you know, wearing it for a month or two. And so I thought that a half wave would be perfect for you. Um, the only um, trick was trying to find a hair that matched perfectly. Um, and so I reached out to my friends over at Hair Factory and it turns out that they custom blend a lot of colors. And so being as I was gray, you know, that kind of smoky blonde gray and they used to custom blend it for me, I figured they could do a salt and pepper, you know. And so we went with two versions of the lighter one, which had more of the, the gray and then with the, the darker one that had more of the black. And so, um, yeah, they sent it to me the next day, and it was awesome. It matched your hair perfectly. So I, I literally sent you two pictures. Yes. Sent a picture of my fr the front of my hair. Which is lighter. Which is lighter. It's lighter mm -hmm. gray. And then the back, which doesn't have as much gray. And you guys can see, like, I even to look at it myself, I'm like, where is my hair? Like, she was cutting it. I was like, wait, wait, wait. You cut my hair? <laughs> I, I can barely, like, I like only because I know that this, my hair can come down this right, far. Right. But up here, I'm like, legit, like, where, where's my hair at? Like, this is absolutely Yeah, I mean, no, insane. they're awesome. I mean, I literally sent them the two pictures that you sent me. Um, and I'm like, hey, I need this ASAP. And they did it. They got it done um, in-house. And it was perfect. I was hoping it was because I hadn't seen you in person. And we did all of this, like, literally via literally text. Literally via text. Like, everything. I don't know if I would recommend anybody else to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that I'm just so dope, you know. But no, I mean, I've seen her plenty of times, so I already kind of knew in my mind, you know, uh, the kind of hair that you had, and so I knew it would work. And I trust Hair Factory so much, you know, I've been using them for years, and, you know, a lot of my clients wear them, so I knew they wouldn't drop the ball on this one. Who are some of the clients that you've done with the Hair Factory? Like, what, um, you know, some names that we can see now, they're like, oh, that's Hair Factory. Well, Kiki Palmer, for one, she has been... And her hair is fly. Like, always. I mean, she, always her hair fly. is always on point. I mean, she's tried so many different textures and colors. And, you know, she's gone blonde with Hair Factory and back to black. And so um, she's been wearing them for a very, very long time. Um, she loves their hair and they love her as a client also. And then I always have, like, you know, a hair kit. You know, so on shoots, I'm always using them. On other, you know, clients where I have to clip in a couple of pieces for performances or, you know, appearances. So, you know, they're a constant in my kids. So the wigs that we see you and you know, you're fabulously fly all on Instagram. If you're not following her, you need to. Cynthia Glam. Thank you. The wigs that you have there, are they from the Hair Factory also? Some are. Um, I usually order them, you know, a platinum blonde and then I color it gray. Um, gray, silver, blue, purple, depending on your perspective. Why do you think gray is such a trend now? Like, was it, is it because Rihanna? Like, what happened? Well, no, I think gray's been around way before Rihanna tried it for two seconds. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of that she <laughs> It was, you know, a little questionable, but, you know, it lived for like literally two seconds and it was gone. Um, probably wasn't one of her favorites, but I, I don't know. I've always been drawn to gray. I think that um, a lot of women, you know, when they age and they mature, a lot of them are embarrassed, you know, mm -hmm. because they're going gray. And I just see so much empowerment in that. And um, since I'm not gray yet, you know, I think it's really cool uh, for younger people to start the trend, you know, and, and help empower the older women who feel a little ashamed and embarrassed. Um, but I, I think it's awesome. I think it's flattering on a lot of skin tones. I think a lot of women can marry it. It's funny because I get so many women who are like, you know, it looks so good on you. I could never I could do never it. Exactly. And I'm like, actually, people going to do can. every day. Like, it looks so amazing on you, but I could never let my hair grow. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm like, what do you good. mean? Like, literally, I mean, clearly, two different skin tones and clearly. little skin on both of us, yeah. you know? And so I just think once you own it, you know, and you have the confidence to carry it, 
it'll look good on anybody. Do you think you'll always be gray? Do you think that that'll be like your signature color? Um, it's been my signature color for a while now. I mean, I have my days where I'm like, I just miss my long. Because right now yeah. you have the gray and then the pink, which I also love. Like yeah. A hint of, you know, I'm touching my Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, like, a, like a peachy, pinky um, ombre. And that's fun. You know, it's warmer. And I always see hair as an accessory. It's like a bag or a We do take shirt. hair really, really seriously. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm creative. I'm a hairstylist, you know, that's what we do. And so I think gray was a great um, trend to start. But also I want to incorporate color now. So what, what other colors can I do with gray? You know, pink, I could do purple, I could do blue. Um, so this summer I'm kind of having fun with it, you know? Now I ask all of my hairstyles that I'm in love with, and of course I'm in love with you, I ask them one signature question. So if you could trade tresses with any celebrity in the world, who would it be? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Mine would have to be J-Lo. I think her hair is always fly. It's always fly. Like, and the color is really always doing? so warm and complimentary to her skin tone. I mean, I wouldn't mind her face and her body. <laughs> <She's> there, everything. <laughs> I mean, be J -Lo. <laughs> I think it would have to be J-Lo, uh, but Beyonce, it would be the runner-up because her hair is always fly, too. Beyonce does have some fly traps. Yeah, well. her hair is always so. But so. I feel like she's also taking it off at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. which isn't bad. I mean, I love that. I love the fact that I can take mine off and so just I'm have my, I'm you know, way short braid. I'm to Beyonce. Great, great. <laughs> she, she can never do it like that, though. No, no, no. I would love to see more celebrities kind of embrace, you know, gray, like this kind of gray, the gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. So We're going to work on that. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah, I mean, well, you're blessed to have it naturally at such a young age, you know, and like me, I, I wish I had that tone of gray, but it's almost impossible to achieve on my hair, you know, so I have to bleach it to a platinum bond and then tone it or use a semi-permanent. So it's a lot, you know, which a lot of people are scared to do that because yeah, yeah. it is so damaging on your hair. Um, so you really got to be committed and, you know, really take care of your hair and be conditioned and use, uh, you know, high quality shampoos and products and tools. So, I mean, it can get really, really expensive also. For sure. But thank you so much. You are so welcome. I can't twirl it. <laughs> she says I can't twirl it, but I, I can't. Stop. Now I understand why people just do this. Why they just day. sit there and just feel on their hair. Just I mean, I do play in my own hair yeah. all day anyway, like when it's out. So this is really... You I'm created, sorry, y'all. I really didn't think I created a monster. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to be hair flipping and swirling. No, and I'm, and a, I'm actually really proud of how you look. You look amazing. Mm -hmm. they, it looks they, really they good they on you. And it's right. like, it, it'll hug right. your boobs. Like it's like yeah. right here, right? Exactly. No? It's okay. the perfect okay. length. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Again, you can find Cynthia Alvarez at... Cynthia Glam. And the Hair Factory ad at the Hair Factory on Instagram. And just Google it. You'll find it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye.